Okay, hello everyone. Today we have a review of the new update for of the Mac OS, and currently it's 14.1 uh, Mac OS Sonoma, which actually installed on the MacBook Air M1 in a top configuration with 8 core GPU, 512 gigabytes of uh, SSD, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So let's have a review of what's new, what's updates, and let's start in general what's new in macOS Sonoma. Actually, it's new background, of course, but what Apple suggests to us is a new widgets. Here is a widget that you can move all the way up to you and uh, locate it on a desktop. For example, calendar, you can move it here and keep it on your any part, let's say, of your desktop. And how to move it back? Let's try like this. And then you can move it back. So basically, all your widgets can be can be moved to your desktop. That's what Apple promotes to us. It's actually quite convenient on Android devices. It's available on Windows. Some similar features as well. But for macOS, it's quite new, and currently it's here. The next one is a background of the meetings, where you can share yourself and on the back of you, you can share some slides or some images, videos, etc., which is also quite convenient to have. Okay, again, promote Zoom meetings. Also, the new style of the entry screen. Actually, when you load or you, or you lock your screen on macOS, that's how it will look like. They moved your name and the password field on the bottom instead of middle. And also, of course, a new desktop wallpapers or background wallpapers. Let's close this up. So that's how it looks like. It's also movable when you unlock it, your laptop. Uh, it will have quite nice animation here and looks good. But how they promote actually underwater view or as your desktop image and screen saver. So actually added the screen saver as well. Keep your browsing separate. Also, you can keep history, favorites, and more uh, on a separate based on topics. Actually, it's quite convenient to have on a Safari, but I don't truly really use it. Like here is a show, school, or personal. Uh, and from you can create also different users and use it for yourself. I don't know, it's up to you, up to your convenience. Use any website like an app. It's already introduced before and actually it's quite workable. It's similar on iOS and Android devices. You can also uh, pin, let's say, on, and add it to your desktop, any website and make it in the form of app and open it as a separate app. Uh, also, you can share passwords to the trusted contacts. So it's quite convenient. You can just add email like family members or friends or schoolmates and share some same password between accounts. Uh, of course, it's available for Apple device only. I don't know whether this feature is convenient or no. I think it could be for some sort of like family password sharing. Actually, that's it, the new features available here and what's exactly new on macOS Sonoma 14.1. So how Apple uh, described it that these updates provide enhancement, bug fix and security updates. So I think you will not find that many changes as on 14.0 uh, that was updated uh, like a new Sonoma update. This one is just more related to the bug fix. So the first one is favorite expanded in, in music to include song, albums and playlists. So it's just like favorites in the library. Apple warranty status uh, for Mac, AirPods, and others in the system settings. Fix an issue where the system service setting with location services may reset. So this is also the back fix and uh, all the other uh, issues related to encrypted external drivers um, from mounting, let's say. So basically... Also, some updates uh, available not on all devices, etc. It's just some general updates on some Macs. Uh, they fixed it uh, one thing, uh, like uh, some productivity or efficiency of the system on another, some another settings as well. So it's already launched. Uh, actually, I, I don't think you should keep your old version, just update to 
14.1 and to, to see some small improvement so i think for all the max it will be more optimized as well so actually is the update that really worth to update basically that's it from this short update and review in case you still have some questions leave it in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time